This is Amar from SSOTrust.com Australia and in this video I am going to be showing you how you can make your website secure by successfully installing an SSL certificate on the Webmin or Virtualmin web hosting manager. So let's get started. As you can see we're on our dashboard here on the home page and this uh, is the domain we are hosting here, here on our server and we'll install an SSL certificate on our primary domain name. This is the server domain name. If we navigate to our primary domain name, you can see that the connection is not secure. And we're gonna make this a, a uh, secure by successfully installing the certificate. So let's begin. Um, so you'll need to navigate to the virtual menu. You'll need to select virtual menu, scroll down and go to server configuration. Click on that and navigate down to SSL certificate. Now, in case you do not see this option, this might be due uh, to the SSL service being turned off. So make sure that you update all your modules and uh, enable this setting that I'll show you now. Uh, you will need to navigate to edit virtual server and enable features. Click on that and check that Apache SSL website enables the boxes checked. Otherwise, SSL would not work. So let's go to SSL certificate and now we're going to create a CSR or a certificate signing request. Click on that. So basically a CSR or a customer signing request is nothing but a request issued by you, the client, to the certificate authority containing all necessary information such as your domain name and any business details which are stored in a hashed form. On the technical side, it also contains the public key, which will be signed by the certificate authority and returned to you in the issued certificate. So type in your domain name here. In the other domain name, type in your domain name without the www uh, w extension. Email address. Department, if you have a specific department, which organization is going to be a civil trust. Based in Sydney, your city, your locality, country code, the first two letters of your country. Uh, SSL key size is going to be default to uh, 2048. And the certificate hash type or the hashing algorithm we're going to use is SHA2 or the 256 bit encryption. And we're going to click on generate CSR now. Boom, so we're done. And this is uh, your CSR, your certificate signing request, and this is your private key. So make sure you save this in a notepad file somewhere or just uh, keep this window open for further uh, use. We'll copy and paste our keys from here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to navigate to SSL Trust. Uh, if you've already purchased a certificate, that's not a problem. But if you've not, uh, SSL Trust uh, offers the best prices in the market and they also offer a great su uh, support team so if you've got any problems we've got you covered and uh, we've purchased the sectical positive ssl for one year we're going to click on that and we're going to submit our certificate configuration so we'll click on that now okay so we'll copy our and paste our csr here uh, make sure you copy this from the very start to the very end as it is. Click on copy and paste it here. And click on verify CSR. So if your details pop up just right, then we're good to go. Uh, server type other as uh, webmin is not uh, mentioned. Click on next step and fill in all your details here. Okay, if you're uh, the admin and you have a technical contact doing this for you, then uh, be sure to mention the details here too. Otherwise, we're going to use the same admin details for this and click on next step. So now comes the most important part of the domain control validation. You need to prove to the Sectigo, the issu issuing authority in this case, that uh, 
you own the domain name and have complete access to it. So there are a few methods. Uh, uh, you can choose uh, from any one of them depending on what you have. So the first and the foremost is the easiest method. Uh, you should have one of these uh, email addresses with this uh, with this uh, subdomain name, admin, uh, postmaster. So you will be sent uh, uh, an email which will contain a link. And if you click on that, uh, your email, uh, domain name should be easily validated. The next step is the HTTP file. So what you'll have to do is you have to um, navigate to uh, this folder and you're gonna have to click on this uh, folder again uh, YFTP and you'll have to create a folder name with uh, create with a text file with this name and you, you know, gotta save it and you have to paste these contents into that file and this should also be validated pretty soon and the method that we're gonna use is the CNAME record and the ES1 for me at least so what we're going to do is uh, copy this, the subdomain name, and we're going to head over to our domain name provider, where we registered our domain name. We can log in and go to your DNS records, scroll down, and we're going to add a CNAME record. Click on that, subdomain, copy and paste as it is. I'll go back, uh, copy the pointing to address. paste and click on update okay once you're done with that you can check out DNS records so this is going to take about from a few minutes up to a few hours depending on your hosting provider so make sure to keep coming back here within every 10 minutes to check whether your record has propagated or not and we're going to submit our configuration Okay, we're done with that. Uh, this is our order number. Our configuration was a su success. Now we're going to access the validation manager. Come here. Okay, you uh, keep coming back here or the DNS checker and check that uh, if your record has been propagated, uh, select the method you've chose to uh, validate your domain name. In our case, it's CNAME and keep clicking on submit. So once your record has propagated, this should be easily done. And if you uh, lost any time, go back to the SSL Trust dashboard, click on your service, and you can access your validation manager from here too. So now we're gonna uh, take a few minutes and we'll be back uh, once the record has propagated. Okay, so we're back after a few minutes and it looks like uh, domain control validation was complete and uh, DNS record has successfully propagated in some places. Some places it has still not. Uh, this might take some more time, but uh, we're good to go for now. So we're going to close this and you can also check your email. Uh, if you hit refresh, you're going to get an email saying that uh, your SSL certificate is ready to be installed and has been issued. So there are various methods uh, to get your certificate. And now we're going to go back to the SSL Trust dashboard and click on our service, the certificate, and we'll click on collect and or download certificate now. Okay, now uh, keep this page open or save uh, all this three in a notepad file and you can download this in various formats but uh, just keep with me for now so uh, what we're going to do now is head over back to virtual min and we're going to go to the ssl certificate setting again click on that we're going to click on apply it sense uh, sign certificate click on that and we're going to head back to our certificate let me close this and click on uh, copy to clipboard. Head back and paste it as text. And click on install now. So this uh, certificate should uh, be installed. And everything is done. So 
click uh, on go back to certificate management and we're gonna paste in one more certificate so go to the CA bundle or the intermediate certificate select a uh, paste certificate text collect your certificate this is the intermediate of the CA bundle click on copy to clipboard head back over and paste it here and click on save certificate okay so we're good to go so let's try if our certificate was installed go to https colon double slash at your domain name dot com and click on enter okay as you can see our, has, uh, our domain name is uh, now secure uh, our connection is now secure to this website and it is verified by Sectigo and so we're good to go so one more thing that you might need to do is head back over to the uh, virtual Mint dashboard and you need to make sure that uh, you redirect HTTP request to HTTPS so if you type in uh, yeah, this with HTTP uh, this will show uh, as the certificate has not been installed on this. So we're going to redirect HTTP to HTTPS. So we'll do that by going to server configuration and head on down to website options. Make sure you've selected your domain name. And uh, uh, this is the option here. Redirect all requests to SSL site and click on save so once you do that uh, all known HTTP requests should be redirected to the, your secure website and another thing uh, we need to take care of is uh, check the TLS versions uh, to get a complete A rating on our SSL uh, labs test so what we're gonna do now is check that we've only enabled uh, TLS 1.2 so click on webinar and uh, click on webmin again go to user main configuration click on SSL encryption here and uh, make sure that uh, you reject uh, as, uh, all these versions except TLS uh, v1.2 which is the latest one so we're gonna fetch a good rating according to this and uh, we'll just leave it as it is and let's go to web website to test our SSL certificate our server connection so https copy and test your server paste it here and click on submit so we're gonna wait a bit now for this to be analyzed okay so the test is complete and We've got an overall rating of A and everything looks strong. If we scroll down, we can see that TLS protocols uh, 1.2 and 1.3 are enabled and pretty much everything looks good. So basically, if, go, if you've got an A rating, everything is good to go. Your site is super secure. You can carry out transactions, store information with your server. So I hope uh, this was easy for you to understand, depending on your needs, whatever you want. And I also hope that after seeing this guide, you will be easily able to do this uh, yourself. So if you face any problems, please uh, contact our support team. And if you like the video, please uh, give us a thumbs up.